Hey there, RC Girl here. Today we are taking a look at the new Traxxas TRX4 High Trail 1972 Blazer. This is the latest release from Traxxas, their High Trail Edition. This has all the awesome TRX4 features, including portal axles, two speed transmission, locking and unlocking diffs, as well as the High Trail upgrades, which include a one inch lift and a giant 2.2 size Canyon Trail tires. Today we're gonna take a look at it, talk about all the features, do some early upgrades, and of course, take it out on the trail for its maiden run. Stay tuned. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm all about helping people grow in the remote control hobby. So if you guys don't want to miss my future videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Huge thank you to my patrons for all your support. They helped to make my recent hobby shop tour possible. So if you want to help expand the tour, consider becoming a patron. And it was time for a merch refresh on my channel. Just got some samples in and I am pretty stoked how they turned out. Pretty sure I'm going to be living in RC Girl merch now. Lots of different design options from tees, tumblers, even dog t-shirts. So if you want to check it out, head over to the store tab on my channel and I will also put a link in the description box below. All right, let's take it away. This is my third TRX4, but my second TRX4 high trail. I just got the F-150. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to that up here. Did a full review and run of that. And my very first RC crawler ever was the Traxxas TRX4 Defender. I am a big fan of the TRX4 High Trail Edition. With their giant tires and lift, they really get over everything. They're super capable. I also just set up an FPV system in my F-150 where you can wear goggles and drive it like you're behind the driver's seat. Pretty cool. And these trucks just look super scale all around. At the time of filming this, these are available for $549.99, so a little bit of a spend, but they come packed with a ton of features. This currently comes in three different body colors, the beautiful cherry red, the one that I have that really shimmers in the sun, also comes in a blue and a limited edition black. Black version is only available at Traxxas exclusive dealers, so you'll have to do a little searching to find those. These will also be available direct from Traxxas online starting June 16th, 2023. So do check their website for current stock. All right, let's talk about the features of this truck. This is a 12.3 inch wheelbase rig. So compared to the High Trail F-150, which was 13.2, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than that. This comes with a highly detailed 72 Blazer body. I'm a big fan. Some people were commenting that they wish the canopy was in a different color, like black or white, uh, but that's something definitely you can customize down the road. I really like the clipless body design. So no longer do you have those body clips visible. You basically just grab under the hood. There's these two tabs on the front and two tabs on the back and it comes right off. This also comes with massive 2.2 size Canyon Trail tires. Really like the look of these. These are going to be plastic rims. The tires are glued on. Space for a tow hitch back here. I'm gonna have to add one of my Fix RC tow hitches to the back. Traxxas does a really good job with their super detailed body. So this is a Lexan body. It's weird because in their Bronco, they do have see-through windows. Kind of weird that um, a lot of their trucks have black stickers that are painted underneath so you cannot put a scale interior. I know people have been griping about that, but there is a lot of detail on this body. We got our faux mirrors here and our door handles. Really nice detailed chrome front grille up here as well as some light buckets. So it doesn't come with lights, but they do sell a separate light kit or you can put in something like a MyTrick RC light kit like I did in my F-150. We got our TRX4 license plate here, windshield wipers here on the front, faux sticker vents here, really nice red cherry color, it's shimmery. So also have some little lighting buckets back here that are, I believe you can put LEDs in there, it looks like. We have the Chevrolet emblem on the back here with that faux wood inlay, a little hatch here. All right, let's take a look at our chassis. So this is gonna be very similar to all the other TRX4 chassis out there. You're gonna get your center mounted battery tray here with this little clip that switches around so you can get different size batteries in there. Also space for one of the smaller packs to inset in there. All the TRX-4s come with inner fenders, which is really nice to see. Space to put in some rock lights as well. They also have another optional battery tray up front here if you wanna distribute more weight towards the front of the rig to keep that front end down, which can add to a little bit of performance. 
Like the rest of the TRX Force, this comes with a Titan 21 turn 550 size brushed motor. This is going to be reverse rotation paired with the XL5 HV speed control that's 2 and 3S capable. Definitely check out the manual because there's a lot of programming potential using their menu button. You can toggle through and set your servo endpoints, reverse your servo, set different crawl modes, things like that. So we're not going to walk through that, but definitely check out the settings because I didn't learn that until a couple years of owning my very first TRX4. So yeah, read your manual. Also comes with three micro servos. These are going to be the servos to lock and unlock your differentials. And this is going to be the servo that toggles between your high and your low speed transmission gearing. Very, very cool. Here we have our waterproof receiver box. There's a little rubber cap here that's removable so you can see, make sure that everything's working in there. Taking a look underneath the truck, we're gonna get steel ladder frame chassis rails here, really nice and rigid. All metal links throughout. I noticed that these do tend to rust over time, so if you're gonna be running in water, make sure to dry it off and add a little corrosion X. Taking a look at our front end here, you can see our portal axles. Portal axles, people usually love or hate them, so it's really preference, but, but portal axles do raise the axle link mounts, the center drive shaft and steering drag links, so they do increase clearance of a lot of components, but they do also increase your center of gravity so people comment that these do tend to tip over easily i've always really liked traxxas suspension and shocks so with the high trail edition these are going to be 110 millimeter shocks now i did upgrade on my defender and then ended up going back to the stock ones so um yeah i really like these Another thing to mention is that all Traxxas electronics here are waterproof, so if you're like me and you like driving in water, you are good to go. Wouldn't recommend using this like a submarine, but a couple puddles, maybe driving through a stream, you're going to be just fine. Our steering servo up here is a 2075X Traxxas steering servo. The one in my Defender uh, went bad pretty early, so that's usually the first thing that I upgrade on most of my trucks is the steering servo. Also got metal steering links up front here, a metal pan heart as well. We got chrome diff covers up here. This comes with a Traxxas connector, and actually in my F-150 video, I snipped this off and added an XT60. Traxxas let me know that if you do cut off your connectors, you are avoiding your warranty, so something to be aware of. Uh, so this time, we're not gonna cut this off. I actually have some Traxxas batteries now and a charger. We have the new Traxxas ID connector here, which has the balance lead integrated that little cable in the middle when you plug this into a traxxas id compatible charger like one of these it will automatically charge it at the appropriate settings so basically just plug it in and start it and here's our transmitter the tqi top qualifier 2.4 gigahertz radio same as in the other trx4 so let's walk through the functions quickly of course we have our throttle here forward reverse we have our steering here, which you can reach to do one-handed driving if you want. And then here is our two speed. So this is going to be our slow speed here, and this is going to be our high speed. And then our switch up here is to lock and unlock all our diffs. So if it's all the way forward, you have both of your diffs locked. If it's in the middle, you just have your fronts locked. And if it's all the way back, you have all open diffs. Here we have our steering trim to center our steering servo. And then we have a multi-function knob, which you can actually set to a lot of different functions, but by default, it is set to your cruise control. Cruise control works as you can add a little throttle, then you hit your set button. It's gonna lock that speed in, and then you can use the turn dial to dial up and down your throttle speed. Kind of cool. So let's set that dot knob in the middle. We're gonna add a little cruise control here. Car's gonna drive itself. We still have to steer, but you can use the knob to dial up and down your speed. So let's make it go super slow. Kind of neat. And then lastly, our on off switch is on the back here. And this requires four AA batteries, not included. I like the rechargeable ones, so you can charge those as many times as you want. All right, I think that is it for most of the details about this truck. I do have some upgrades from Traxxas, so we're gonna do some early upgrades next, then we're gonna take it for a run. So let's take it away. All right, time to install the ProScale light kit. This comes with headlights, taillights, brake lights, reverse lights, turn signals, and hazard lights. Basically just a drop-in plug-and-play setup. This is actually my first Traxxas light kit. I use a lot of the MyTrickRC stuff because it's really customizable to any truck. 
but this is going to be a really nice plug and play option. So everything is included. You do have to pick up the rock lights separately though. So I do have those as well. So we're gonna install those at the same time, but let's take a look inside this kit. So if you're new to the Traxxas light kit, there's basically two main electronic components. The power module here, which is the voltage regulator, and you can select various modes by pressing this button. And then we have the lighting distribution block, which is where all the lights are gonna plug into. So let's install this now. And actually before we install the light kit, we're gonna install this different bumper because there is some LEDs integrated in this original bumper. So just wanna make sure that we have everything we need before we install all the lighting. And there's also a light bar, I believe, integrates in the middle there. So we're gonna do that all at the same time. Got our lights all in, super organized too. Kind of nice that they provide all the zip ties and places to attach those. Oh gosh, so you won't believe this, or maybe you will. I actually fried the lighting controller. Uh, I plugged the red into the black and the black into the red, and there isn't reverse polarity protection. So when I plugged my battery in, the car started smoking. So I immediately unplugged it. This whole cable here, is melted it's crazy so be very careful double check your wiring a main hobbies had these in stock so it's gonna arrive in two days um ugh. but yeah everything was plugged in i was so excited to try it out for the first time and now i have to wait so in the meantime we can install our winch all right, so while we wait for our new lighting controller to come, it's supposed to arrive today. I think the mail just came actually. Uh, we're gonna install this ProScale winch and winch controller from Traxxas. This is my first time trying out the Traxxas winch. Looking forward to checking it out. Typically I've gone with the RC four wheel drive ones. To be able to use the winch, you're actually gonna need this different front bumper here. So you can mount it, it already has a fair lead on it. This is the one we put the little light bar in and now we're going to install this. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna plug this in. Hopefully we double checked our wires. All right, last step, decal time. And then very last thing, we're going to add this tow hitch from my product line, Fix RC. Someone mentioned in my last TRX4 video that this is called a pintle hitch, I believe, but it is a perfect fit for the Traxxas TRX4. Alrighty, we got our new lighting controller in. It looks so good. Here we have our rock lights lighting up our wheel wells. We've got our front side lights here, our front headlights. We've got our rear side lights, our tail lights, and our reverse lights linked to the throttle. Nice. Looking super good. Another thing I messed up on is our front bumper wasn't attached completely. I just did a test fit. I forgot to put in the two screws and I went to pick up the truck and I actually pulled out the lights to the back of the light bar. So annoying. So I'm not gonna be able to show that to you guys. We're gonna have to get another one of those, uh, but yeah. All right, let's go run this. All right, guys, we are ready to do our maiden run with the Traxxas TRX4 High Trail Chevy Blazer. Got my carry-all RC pack, carrying all my camera gear. All right, let's take it away. 
<laughs> They're so cute. Oh wow, it's beautiful. I really love TRX fours with so many features. It makes for a really fun driving experience. I'd also say the F-150 with a one inch longer wheelbase is probably a bit more capable. Yes, the Blazer does tip over sometimes given the higher CG. So definitely set your expectations. It's going to be a really great trail truck, not a crazy comp crawler. It can't really do the super steep stuff or the really off camber features too well, but all in all, it's a really great truck. Also want to say thanks to Mountain Mike for his driving support. If you want someone to really put your rig to the test, <laughs> hand it to him. I think he had like three cartwheel rollovers with the new Blazer. Definitely put some good scratches on it, but it survived them all, no problem. It's a super tough truck. Also really love the waterproof electronics. Super fun to drive through streams. And the winch makes for some fun scale recoveries. Definitely a great addition to my RC fleet. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't want to miss my next one, make sure to subscribe or see you later.